Hello there, and welcome to another photo adventure. I want to start by thanking everybody for following us, subscribing to us. Um, your support is greatly appreciated. Today, me and Betsy are out to a beautiful part of Wales, in mid Wales, we are. Uh, we're in Warren Woods, and we're going to have a little walk up to Waterbreakers Neck. Beautiful waterfall, so join us in a minute. And hopefully there'll be a bit of water coming over and we can get some photos. Well there, so the reason I've come out to, to water break its neck, even if there's no water coming over the waterfall, which looking at the river there's not much, but what you have got is this moss covered trees and green, it's a sea of green absolutely everywhere. It looks beautiful, just look at that, stunning. I'm going to have a walk up to the waterfall first and then on the way back down I shall uh, stop and get some of this lovely green stuff. Looks great. Just look at that, I hope the GoPro is picking this up. There are massive ferns everywhere and we have the trees just absolutely covered in this lovely moss. Hey Betsy. Just look at this. How cool is this? Welcome to Water Breakers Neck. There's not that much water coming off it, but it's uh, there's enough here for me to get photographs. I'm loving these two fallen trees, so I'll have to try and frame them up. So there's not much water coming over, but I think there's enough for me to get photographs. It is just a sea of green in there, literally just one colour, royal green. So join me in a minute, I'm going to uh, put my stuff down I'm going to scout out a couple of compositions It looks great So I've just put the 16 to 35 mil on for the super wide angle uh, Just because I want to try and get to the top of the waterfall as well as some nice foreground underneath the camera um, I'll just show you this first shot, I can see a second one with a big stone just up there I'm going to use that as a leading line after this shot. I'll just show you this one now. So quite a simple composition. I've got the waterfall coming down in the left hand rule of thirds. I've got the two trees coming down on the diagonal from the top right towards the bottom left. And we've got this big stone in the foreground. I'm going to take a shot on this first, well on that second log. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to punch in 200% just to make sure that we are focused, which we are. I'm going to get that shot. And then I'm going to focus on the rock right in the foreground and take that shot. And we've got a blur with Betsy on the right hand side. So when she's out of the shot, I'll take it again. No bets. Here we go. There's the shot. And I should put this image on right now.
so as you can see even on the GoPro probably the saturation looks like it's been turned up to 10 it is so colourful in here it's unbelievable these trees are coming up bright yellow and the green this plant whatever it is is bright green so I'm now anyway just lining up for the next shot and I'm going to use this stone as a leading line heading off towards the um, waterfall I'll just come down and show you the shot again all I'm doing here is I'm going to focus that on the rock and then again I should focus on the on the branches coming down from the right hand side um, it's going to be a simple composition um, I'm going to say 100 I'm shooting at f11 everything is going to be sharp um, I could probably get away with even just focusing on the rock on the floor and still have everything sharp with this lens it is incredible but I will focus on that log that's coming down as well um, there are all pennies and everything inside it as well people have hammered them in looks great it does so again I'll put this shot on right now for you and I'm going to try and line something up with just the water So I'm now going to try and line something up with the waterfall here. Um, I am tempted as well to get on the ledge if I can and try and catch something. I'm loving the texture in the rocks and the moss there. I, uh, I'll just show you the back of the camera. So this shot, I'm just going to turn the polarizer just to darken the foreground and take some of the glare out from down here um, I've upped the ISO because I'm so close to the uh, waterfall now it's very dark here I'm shooting ISO 320 F10 and that's giving me a sixth of a second I'm focused just on the rock there, the corner I'm going to take this shot and then I'm going to punch in 200% just to make sure that there is detail in the water and as you can see the detail is there even in the rocks, even though it's black there I can, I can recover that with the um, shadow slider in Photoshop looks beautiful it does so another shot I'm just sliding up as an horizontal shot this time I've got the stone as a leading line to the waterfall plus it's on the diagonal line running from bottom right to top left the waterfall is in the left hand rule of thirds the first log is in the right hand rule of thirds and the diagonal log coming down again in the centre of the frame just to balance everything up looks beautiful again I'm going to um, do a three shot focus stack with this and I'm going to focus on that tree I'll just put the camera back on focus on that tree, focus on the stone um, the settings are I mean it's ISO 320 because it's quite dark here tenth of a second and that's giving me 0.6 of a second I don't mind it being a little bit slower with the water this time because I am so far away from it um, it looks beautiful though just look at all that green hey look, a little bit of sunlight coming through can't get over how green everything is green and yellow absolutely incredible there's bits of blue sky coming now, a little bit of light coming through 
Um, shame I didn't get this earlier. I'm now going to try and get a couple of shots with these with all this green lichen on the uh, on these trees. Oh, it looks amazing. It does absolutely amazing. It is so thick, just thick with with lichen, lichen, some kind of moss. Let me just show you this. Just look at this. Absolutely incredible. It's beautiful it is. I'm just now got to try and find the composition to try and catch it. It is quite high up. Um, and I can't get up the bank to shoot down on it. It looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. I'll try and find something anyway. So I've just tried to line up a composition with this. But it looks dreadful on the camera. It is just bright green and yellow. And I've took a shot, but I probably won't use it. I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything in Photoshop with it at all. It looks beautiful to the eye, but just on the camera it looks awful absolutely awful these trees are amazing and I think one day I'm gonna to have to try and scramble up the bank when it's a little bit dry it's a bit slippy at the minute it's very wet in here so I think I need to get up high and try and shoot down um, yeah I think I'm going to uh, carry on walking see if I can get something else. Just walking back towards the car, found this little bridge and there's a path running off and round the hill. Um, it's just caught my eye and it's one of those shots where if something catches your eye and you like it, get the shot, just get the shot. Um, doesn't matter if it's epic or anything you've got to remember it's about enjoying your photography and just taking photographs I love just taking photos anything and I like this little scene it's it's just an average shot but for me I like the scene I'll just show the back of the camera so what's making me love this shot is the simple bridge leading off and round the bend you've got the little river coming down from left to right um, I think it just looks a pretty little scene. I'm focused just on the end of the bridge. I can't be bothered to focus stack this one. Um, if we had good light in here, then I would be focused stacking down there, the other side of the bridge, and up there. But I'm literally just going to focus on the far edge of the bridge, which should give me acceptable sharpness throughout the whole image. And it looks beautiful. Where's our 100? 13th of a f13 and one second exposure and that's the shot looks beautiful so that's it for today i'm uh, walking back to the car now i hope you like water break its neck beautiful little place it's just off the a44 heading to raider and the woods here are called warren woods um so it is beautiful there's walks all up in the trees there's a couple of green lanes if you fancy green laning um, absolutely stunning place stunning place there are links below in the description to all the gear that I use my drone the GoPro my cameras everything um, if you've got any messages anything you want to ask me um, about water break his neck or if you want to leave me a comment about the uh, photographs, which one's your nicest, which one do you think's the nicest or your best, which one do you like the best, just send me a comment below. Um, I want to thank everybody for supporting the channel with me and Betsy. Um, it, your support is greatly appreciated. As always, if you like the video, please like, subscribe. I'm going to put all the photos on now, and until next time, take it easy.